Hi everyone, David Mailer here, and today I'm going to show you how to read in data from your data sets, whether it be a CSV or an Excel file, into R. So to start off with, uh, this was a question a couple people asked me. They wanted to know how to bring it in, whether it be Excel or CSV. So right up here, look at this. I've got a read CSV, okay? And what this is going to do is going to read the same one as this one, uh, the same file. But there's a difference here. This one read.csv just puts in a table. Read CSV2 will put it in a data frame. And there's a big difference between the two. But the CSV2 data frame is not going to be the same as this one here, vector 3. So I've got, I'm writing them as vectors because that's what they are. They're a vector. Everything basically is a vector in R. But it's a data frame. This bottom one here becomes the most usable. Let me show you what happens here. Okay, so if I just right click on this and run it, we've created vector 1, 731 objects in there, 16 variables, right? Let's run vector 2 with the CSV2. So it looks the same, right? Except, oh, that's got one variable and that's got 16 variables. What that means is, you're going to see in a minute, this one's going to look like a table with columns and everything. This one's not. Next one, make sure we load this, and I don't remember if I loaded in the uh, read Excel library but then what we'll do is we'll just take this guy right here in and look at the difference now this is a different uh, file it's not a CSV it's an XLSX so if I bring this thing over here all right so we can do this this will show it to you a little bit better and bring this back you can see right there it's a different file but it doesn't matter this this is the actual location of these files okay and what you're gonna see here is these guys here's vector one Okay, it looks like a regular table with column names and all their data underneath it, working day, work, weekday, month, year, everything, right? Now look, the same exact data, 731 observations, but in CSV2 does this. It stays as a CSV. You can see it there. It's got one variable. Why? Because this is one big column name. It's not going to be as easy to access, but then again, this one may not be earlier. So when you take a look at this, vector 3, looks kind of the same as vector 1, right? Look at it. Doesn't it look pretty similar? Except that uh, obviously it's different data, but I'm just saying that it's got the uh, columns and the column name, right? But that doesn't mean they're the same. So if I go back here, now let's say I want STR will give me the information on a data frame, right? So watch. This first one's not a data frame. Let's see what it does. Oh, it gives you an error, right? Let's see about the second one, because it's, it's supposedly a data frame, right? It does, but see, again, it's all in one column. The first, I mean, yeah, it's all in one column, and there's one table name for the whole data frame. It's not very easy to work with. Now let's look at number three. See, now the difference is, when you look at this one, let's go up here, you can get all the information, what is the uh, field, what is the data type and even examples of the data next to it that's very helpful that's in the vector 3 which is read in from XLSX which is your Excel file now we can also go here and do a head of the vector okay and when you hit this what that does that gives you the top six lines of code or of the rows of it so you can see the actual names of the uh, column names see they're a little bit easier Again, the types of the data, you know, in the fields, and the d actual data in the fields. Same kind of thing. You can also do tails, tail uh, vector three. It will give you the bottom set. Um, what we can also do is we can look at as a data frame can be accessed with a dollar sign. So see this right here, vector three. We know that one's a data frame, and I know that sales is a field in that data frame. So if I enter this one. What does it do? It puts into result two right here. It puts in the variables of vector three, that column from or the sales column from vector three. Now, what if I did that with result two? Well, it'll give you something, but it's a null because there is no sales column. There is one column with all the column names in it, and that one won't help you any. And then if you do this one. That one actually gives you an error because it's not even a data frame to begin with. So, 
In theory here, the best thing you can do if you want to work out with something really easy is to stay with your Excel file data. You can't always do that, so you'll have to move it back and forth to a data frame. But as you can see here, this is how the data is read in. So I have it here as a CSV. I have it here as a CSV2, and you saw what it does, and then here as a full data frame. So even though Vector2 will tell me it's a data frame, if I go up here, to where vector see right here it tells me it's a data frame when I do the str vector 2 but that's it now uh, and of 731 observations of one variable now if we go down below the next one vector 3 that I read in from X from Excel gives me that what let's see here it is a data frame but it is also a table and it is also a table data frame so it has more features to it and is more easily read. Now when you go and look at it, vector 1 looks like this and it looks a lot like vector 3. I mean the data is different, I understand it, but the col you have column names and you can access it this way, but they're entirely different. So we'll go in the next couple of uh, videos, we're going to go into how you access this data and what you can do with it. But I wanted to keep this one short and sweet so you guys can get straight up and start seeing doing this. And then if you want to take this further, I also have a lot of other great videos uh, just check out my channel and you'll see we do everything from doing correlation analysis, linear regression, uh, all kinds of stuff, data wrangling, uh, data manipulation, you name it. So we're going to take you from the, this is like ground zero, you're just accessing the data. I mean, I guess the step before this would be to load up R, which I assume you already have. Um, but this is basically from ground zero, it's how to get your data in there. Okay. Now also when you're in here if you want to get rid of things that's what these RMs are here these will remove but they will remove it for like this one watch if I hit this one it removes the data frame right now this one was a data frame what do you think it's going to do it removed it but this one is not a data frame so RM will not remove it see that it's an error because it's not an object that it can find but you know, instead of coding that, the easiest way to remove that, this is our studio, is just to go over here. See this little brush right here? Vector 1, just click this, hit yes, and boom, that area is gone. So that's basically how you, in a nutshell, you load in your data. We loaded it in for CSVs. We used read CSV, read CSV2, and we used read XLSX to bring in uh, the library, well, that's the library for uh, bringing in Excel sheets. I hope you found this interesting and uh, helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe and like so you can see all my other great uh, videos I have coming out. And please check out my channel. There's a lot of great videos on there from everything from RR Studio, ggplot, graphing, visualization, data wrangling, data manipulation, using alt uh click sense, all kinds of business analysis, business intelligence, data analysis, and data science tools. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.